Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And today I'm going to have a go at casting one of my son's magic cards. Because he plays magic with his friends uh, and in competitions and things like that. It's not a game that I've, I've played, but he really enjoys it and it's quite competitive. But he wants a little trophy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cast it in this little um, mould that I've made using um, some acetate. And I'm going to put a bit in the bottom first, then glue this card in, and then fill it up with uh, casting resin, trying to avoid as many bubbles as possible. Then fill this up, this mould up, probably in about three different pours to be able to um, ensure that the resin as it heats doesn't expand too much or burst the mould. So what we've got now is we've got this little bit of resin in the bottom here and it's well on the way to curing now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my card and my tweezers as you can see and I'm going to put that in where roughly where I want it. Now I haven't glued it in at the moment because I'm going to see if hopefully that resin is soft enough for me just to pop that card in, which it is, okay, and let that cure now with that card sitting in that resin so it looks like it's floating. So to stop that card from flapping to the back or flapping to the front and then curing in an incorrect position, what I've done is I've put a little bit of foam either side of that card to hold it in the middle. This is cured now, the bottom bit, and uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill this halfway full with casting resin, mixing it to try and avoid any bubbles, of course, because I'm not going to have an opportunity to get the bubbles out, and I'm not really going to see what it's like until I take it out of its mould. I've made the base already for this to sit on when it's come out of its mould, and I made the base in exactly the same method as I made the... Um, the main body of the trophy. So now I'm ready to pour this and I'm only gonna pour it again about halfway and I'm going to leave the um, little foam bits in uh, keeping the card in place because once I pour the other half and let that cure for probably about six hours before I pour the, the final half, those will keep the card in place and then before I pour, the final bit, that card will be completely nicely set in place and I will remove those before the final pour. So as you can see, that um, card now has stayed completely in the middle and I've taken those two pieces of foam out because now I'm gonna put the final pour in. Once again, I'm gonna mix it up with as minimal amount of bubbles as I can. So this is now cured and uh, I've taken the cardboard off as well, so it makes it a little bit easier to see. And so what I need to do now is to remove the packaging. And this can be easier said than done often um, because of the amount of sellotape and whatnot that I've put on here to keep it uh, clean and to keep it in the mould. So carefully, because firstly, you don't want to cut yourself. And secondly, you don't want to um, score into the actual um, resin itself. Although you can quite easily put a little bit of a top coat on it. Remove the sellotape and then remove the acetate and as you can see once you've got the sellotape removed the acetate comes off nice and easy so there we go unfortunately i did get a big bubble down there i don't know how it must have been when i was pouring it but ultimately that hasn't come out too bad and what i shall do is i shall attach it to that stand using some um five minute epoxy that dries clear. So I've got my five minute epoxy mixed up now 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto the bottom here before I even think about doming it or filling that top in. Now I'm only going to put a little bit on because I don't want this to burst out if I can help it. Um, but obviously I do want it to cover and this should work really well and it will dry clear as well so I've mixed up far more than I needed but I always do I'm just going to put that there and then I'm going to pop this on the top There we go, and I'm just going to leave that now for the five minutes that it says it needs to cure. So this is now ready to um, level out that top, as I mentioned in the um, earlier in the video. So I've allowed this resin to sit for a little while to thicken up, and now I'm just going to put a little bit across here, not too much at the moment, although I am going to put some runs down this um, block because I want it to look like it's uh, melting because obviously this looks like a block of ice so I want this card to look like it's set in ice make sure whenever you're doing this that you go right to the edges as well because if not it will show And when I put the runs down it, I'm not going to do it so it runs across too much of the picture. I'm going to put a few down the sides and I'm going to put um, a, few, a couple down the back and maybe one down the front or one or two down the front. But you have to make sure your resin's nice and thick for this because if not, it will flow over the edges where you don't want it to flow over the edges so I'm just building it up where it needs to be built it up checking it on it okay so now for the melty bits I'm going to put a bit there and I want them to be slightly different thicknesses as well so I'm allowing them to be slightly different thicknesses and I shall let that cure as it is this side, maybe three this side, and because it's thick, gravity will allow that to run, but it won't allow it to uh, run too far, I hope, if I've got my thickness right. Okay, I'm going to put one here. A large one down this side. Well, these are finished now. Uh, well, this is finished now, and I'm really, really pleased with it. It does look like a um, card has been set in a block of ice. My son absolutely is thrilled to bits with it. I also made another one, which is this one, where the card's poking out the top as if the ice has melted a lot more than on the first one. It wasn't too difficult to make at all. It was a bit time consuming because I poured in lots of different um, stages because I wanted to make sure that I poured in lots of different stages. But overall, I'm really, really pleased with the result. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the camera to give you a better view of it. I'm sorry if this is a bit shaky, but I'm actually holding this camera rather than having it in my tripod. So as you can see now, it does actually look as if it is melting ice. 
I've rounded the corners off. I've got drips running down it. Um, and uh, the light, I think, shines through it really, really well. This one I did kind of move the mould a little bit about while it was curing to give it that ice um, feel. Where this one, I didn't. But you can see um, it hasn't picked up all... The camera's not picking up all the drops. But you can see um, that it actually does look like... Um, melting ice so i'm really pleased with these my son's really pleased with these and he's going to use them as a trophy for uh, a magic card game that he's playing or for something I'm, I'm sure but he is really pleased with them so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe leave a comment i love comments let me know the sorts of things that you do or in the comments let me know things you'd like me to make videos on thank you very much Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.